good afternoon to all of you. Yes, uh, I'm Pe Machong Smith. I've been here for more than one year at the U.S. I'm here now at Florida. So I'm a green card holder today. So I need to help other Filipina like me that been newly arrived here at the United States. So before I was so very confused, I did not do anything and only now that uh, some of my uh, supported friends helped me to do all the things, especially if you arrive here, uh, you need to have the I-94. So now today guys, just watch and I will teach you how to make your I-94 history document, okay? So like, share, and subscribe for my channel, guys. So now uh, we will uh, need to find the I-94. Just uh, type I-94 website. It should be here. So you need to uh, read this and then decline exit consent continue. So this guys you need to uh, fill up this your first name example name. And then my last name, the last name uh, that you have on your passport, right, macho. Yeah. Okay, you will write your birthday, month, and then your birthday year, and then you need to put your passport. This guy's passport country, you need to select Philippines, okay? After that, next. That's the thing, guys. You just uh, go for the next uh, page, and then after that, two pages was being filled up. You need the, uh, to print that for copy. So that's the I 94. Uh, you know, guys, uh, when I arrived here last year, 2019, it's been one month, but I don't know the I 94. Only one of my friends uh, advised me to. To, to have that because I needed that for all my papers that I should be processed so uh, when I'm here I enjoy, we travel we eat to different places but <laughs> I didn't know nothing so when my uh, one friend uh, shout out uh, Leia Libao so thank you so much and also to uh, friends Friends, thank you. Two of them helped me a lot. So, I uh, I searched for uh, the I-94 website and then recent I-94, so I print for copies. Yeah, the I-94, guys, is the history travel that you came in. And then there's an expiration that you will need uh, to use that. So, as long as it does not uh, expire, you need to process everything, right? Your uh, SSS, it uh, depends on you. If you are not married or married within 90 days, the K-1 visa procedure, you can apply. But for me, I apply with my uh, AOS uh, application. Right? So you need four copies. Why? One is for the SSS application, and the second one is the AOS adjustment of status. Right? When you get married, you need to apply so that you will be a uh, legal uh, uh, living here at the United States. You will not uh, going back to the Philippines. So you need to be married within 90 days, please. So that's why uh, K1 
one visa. So the second one is the uh, permit to travel. So that if you're going to visit your family at the Philippines or uh, travel to any other country, you might come back here. So that's uh, the travel uh, permit. So the last one is the uh, working permit, guys. Working uh, permit authorization. So that's the thing. Uh, the I-94 uh, is the history travel when you came here at the United States at the point of entry. My point it, of entry is uh, Georgia, so Atlanta, Georgia. So that's the thing. And if you will uh, fill up your I-94, it should be your uh, surname. Surname you when you're single. So surname with your passport. Philippine passport guys so that it might appear so there is an expiration of that so you need to use the I-94 as long as it does not expire right so so that's the thing so guys uh, I hope you will comment the other uh, uh, things that you need might uh, help you just comment down and then I will make a blog another blog for you guys to help you applying AOS the the other uh, two things page by page if you want so please uh, like share and comment and subscribe so so we need to take care if we are in green card holder here we need to to love our our husband and respect him and also serve them you know Filipina is a, a loving person and caring person so God bless you all bye bye